All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Before we get this video started, make sure you use the code YouTube for 15% off on all products on GFXcomet.com. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check out the website. Okay, so welcome back to the channel. This is part two of the cafe uh tutorial and uh basically where we left off uh we were just adjusting the materials and the textures as you can see i'm doing with this uh yellow chair so i'm just uh increasing the metallic the specular lowering the roughness giving it that shine effect and i'm just going to do that with the red chair and the white chair as well Alright, so next, I went online, I went to uh, cc0textures.com, I downloaded a uh, floor texture, tiles, and basically you want to click on the shading tab, uh, enter into edit mode, and you're going to want to click on the floor, and we're just going to import the texture, so look it up, drag and drop the base color file onto the node editor, and you're going to connect the color to base color, as you can see, we're going to shift A, add a bump, connect the color to the height and uh, just connect this part to normal now as you can see I have the tiles texture onto my floor I'm gonna hit control T uh, this is using the node wrangler which you can enable by going to edit preferences add-ons and look up node wrangler and you want to turn it on once it's on you can click on your texture hit control T and it will open these uh, mapping nodes for you where you can adjust the tiling for your texture and now uh, for the rest of this I'm just going to be adjusting the settings until I get the floor to something that I like Alright, as you can see, uh, we are getting somewhere. Um, I'm just adjusting the specular, metallic, and roughness. As you see, I'm just kind of playing around with it. And uh, yeah, adjusting the bump strength as well. Alright, so final adjustments, and uh, let's take a look around. I think this looks pretty good. So yeah, let's move on. Alright, so now I'm just going to adjust the texture of this uh, table. So I'm going to click on it, go into my shading tab, enter edit mode, and uh, just click on the texture. Alright, so yeah, you just want to hit shift A, search up bump, and we're going to plug it into normal, as you can see, and plug the texture into the height. Now I'm just playing around with the rest of the settings, and uh, you can see the preview up there as it changes. All right, just taking a look around at uh, what we've created. Um, we've made some great progress so far. Now it's time to move on to the lights. So just click on the model. All right, so just click, and we're gonna enter into edit mode. 
just click on the lights and we're going to go to materials and change it to emission and just increase the strength as you can see All right, so now for this uh, shelf wall kind of thing, I went back to cc0textures.com and uh, found a metal texture. Now just hit Shift A, and we're gonna grab a bump, connect the uh, color um, to base color, and color to height as well. all right as you can see it looks pretty darn good to me and uh now i think we should move on to these little decorative uh statues so for these they're supposed to be gold which uh should be pretty easy for us so just increase the metallic and lower the roughness and uh yeah that's basically it they look pretty good Moving on to this uh, counter, um, just adjusting the roughness, increasing the metallic, just the basic three sliders here, and uh, just making it look better. Alright, so that's gonna be it for part two. Let's try to get 50 likes on this video. So, yeah, smash the like button. It's going to help out our channel and just push this video out um, and uh, have YouTube recommend us. So, likes really help. And uh, yeah, if you like our content, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for part three. And with that being said, I will see you all next time. Yeah.